Hi guys, in this video, I am going to make this 2D spanner using this diagram in AutoCAD 2020. So, please stay in video if you want to learn how to make this 2D spanner in AutoCAD 2020. So, let's start the video. To make this diagram, first we have to make this profile and we have to make this slot. First go to AutoCAD, make sure to turn on the ortho option. Let's make a circle, use the circle command, make a circle of radius 10 units. Now use the line command, select at this point, select the center point and make an approximate line like this. Now use the offset command, set the offset distance as 4 units, select this line and place it here, again select this line and place it here. Now use the trim command, trim all the extra portions, now delete this line, we don't need this, so simply select this and press delete. Now again use the line command make a line from this quadrant point of two, two units long now use the circle command make a circle of radius 10 now use the extend command select the circle first press enter and now select this line and again select this line and now press enter now use the trim command, trim this part first and now trim this and this also, trim this two also, now select this line, press delete. Now the profile is completed, as you can see we have completed this profile, now we have to rotate this to 45 degree, so go to AutoCAD and select this profile, first type rotate. Select this profile, press enter and now select its center point and enter an angle of 45 degree and that's it. Now we have to make the other profile which is which we cannot copy because it have a different radius, it have a different outer radius and it have a different slot size. So first we have to make an offset distance. As you can see the offset distance is like 2 and then 70 and then again 2. So go to AutoCAD and follow these steps. So first select the center point and make a line of 2 units long in this direction and then 2 units long in this direction. Now type 70 units in this direction. Now again make a line of 2 units. Now make a line of two units in this direction now press escape so this is the center point that we have drawn follow this step to get the center point properly so make a circle at this center point of radius 9 now again we have to make this slot so again draw a line like this and make an approximate line of this length now press escape now in this case you can see the offset distance is 7.2 so the half is 3.6 to so go to AutoCAD and type offset command again set the offset distance as 3.6 now select this line place it here and again select this line place it here now use the trim command trim double enter remove all these portions delete this line first and again draw a line from its quadrant point to a length of 2 units now press escape now make a circle of radius 9 as you can see in this case so enter radius of 9 now what you have to do is to use the extend command and select this circle press enter now extend this two lines like this and now press enter again use the trim command 
trim all the portion and now also trim these two portions delete this extra line and now uh, don't change these lines because it will be useful for our further changes so now use the rotate command to rotate this profile select all the profiles now press enter now we have to rotate this enter now select the base point for the base point let me select it again select all the parts like this now press enter now select at this point and enter a rotation of 45 degree and that's it so we have drawn the two profiles of the spanner now we have to draw this part for that we have to use the offset command select the offset command set the offset distance as 4 units now select this line and place it here again select this line place it here now we have to remove these parts to make a fillet first trim this to extra portion and also trim this part trim also other parts now we don't need these lines so delete all of them select every line like this i have also uploaded the uh, drawing drawing parts and the technical drawings in the description please check it also so select all of them and delete now trim this line also now it seems to be completely joined now we have to make some fillets for that you can see the radius is 30 units in this side and in opposite side it have the 30 unit in this side similarly it have a radius of 8 in this edge and it will have a radius of 8 in this edge so it have alternative fillets so use the fillet command fillet and use the radius option and enter the radius as 30 units select this line first and select this similarly fill it select this line and this line now again type fill it choose the radius option enter the radius as 8 select this line and this now again select this line and this now the spanner is almost completed now what we have to do is to place this extra slot here so this is just an optional slot you can skip that so for that go to the center point and enter a line of 4 units long now enter a distance of 18 in this direction now we have to make a circle at this point make a circle of two units now make two lines make one line also similarly now we have we can use the mirror command use the mirror command first mirror this line again use the mirror command select all these lines accept the center line and mirror this like this and now we get this slot we have to trim the extra portions trim this extra two portions delete this extra line segments and now get we make the spanner so in order to make dimensions first we have to go to this anode option select the anode panel and select the layer 1 option and now we are going to make some linear dimensions 
for that you can type dim linear or go to this panel and select linear and now first select this midpoint and this midpoint and place it here and now again go to linear option select these two center points and place it here again go to this and select the center point midpoint and this point and place this dimension here now let's make some circular dimensions for that go to dim radius or you can type dim radius select this circle and place it here uh, now again select this and place it here you can also mention this use the dim radius and mention all of them dimensioning in AutoCAD is very very easy so make dimension very easily make all the dimensions and now if you want to make some angular dimensions like you can see we cannot use the dim linear because they are some like aligned or parallel in some angle for that you can use the dim aligned option first select this point and now select this point and place the dimension here now again use that let me show you again first point and the second point and place the dimension like this so i think that's all that is enough to learn from the dimensions so i think you learn something from this video and if you really like this video please make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon please also like share and tell your friends what you learn something from this video thank you and have a nice day